Hello students, good evening to everybody. We will start our English class right now. So can you leave? Good evening, teacher. Hello guys, welcome. Welcome you all to our English class. It's a great opportunity to start. And uh, we are ready always to study <coughs> different topics this day. And also welcome you all. So let's begin. And, you know, the time goes so fast, you know, that we are in the class and and suddenly, you know, the time is about to finish. And so let's begin. Okay. But before that we start, I know that there are some students who are joining right now to early class. They are in the process for, you know, having access to come. And um, I just need uh, the best, you know, the time to practice. As we know, English is very valuable for improving. Before that we start, I just want to ask you, um, well, first of all, in uh, what we studied in the last class, who wants to help me to remember this information, what we studied? ¿Qué estudiamos en la última clase que tuvimos? El uso de there, there is, there are. Okay, thank you. There is and there are, yeah. Su forma negativa y también como question, teacher. Questions, right? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Los, mue los, los muebles de una, de una casa. También. Okay, perfect. That's correct. Yes. All right. That's right. So if this is very valuable to think about. You know, there is and there are also equations in the negative form. So we just study different ways. So today we have a, a different topic that we will develop for this class. And it's it's a little easy, you know. It's it's pretty easy. It is the the following topic that we'll study. So let's get ready and um, let's try to learn. And also, um, let's do it right. So I don't know if you can see my presentation. Can you see it? Can you yes. see? It? Yeah, sure. You can appreciate that. All right, cool. Uh, well, let's begin and also get ready. Remember that you have the presentation. So you can uh, check this information by WhatsApp and also by our social networks. And uh, let's go with the first, right? So we we'll start the section number three and this week and also the conference number five. And the topic is, what do you do? When we ask this question, we're talking about some um, a jobs or occupations. So we can call them jobs or occupations. That's what we do. And also, uh, we can um, check this vocabulary that we'll share right now. Look at this one. Okay, let's click here. And also, we have some jobs. Look at that one. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, so you can check here some examples about some jobs and occupations. Look at that, we have uh, jobs or occupations. We'll have like waiter, paramedic, dentist, a train conductor, uh, nurse, electrician. And also we can see here some other jobs like a doctor, a businessman, American football player, student, a sergeant, a door doorman. Uh, in this case, we have in this side. Um, let me see. Let me show. A boxer, cameraman. Hello. Uh, no será teacher ese ese dibujito. Which one? I'm bringing this one. The boxer, the cameraman, detective, journalist. Housewife, uh, diver, 
and then, then we have the pub too, the priest, salesman, librarian, a pirate, and singer. So these are examples of some common jobs that and you know people have jobs and occupations. So it's definitely important you know, to learn about some jobs and occupations. And today we're gonna have like a short uh, backup about some jobs and occupations. So there are different kind of jobs that maybe we have seen or we have studied previously. So for that, uh, we will go on to the next activity mm -hmm. that we will develop uh, for our class today. Mm -hmm. Vamos a ver. Uh, vamos a ver. Next. Tenemos una actividad que vamos a hacer en este momento. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que usted trabaje en pequeños equipos. So you can work in, in different groups. And I will explain you how it is. Let's see. Uh, ask three different uh, partners their names and their occupations. Say what you like about a job. In this case, you will think about what you do, about what, what, what is your job or what do you do. Si ustedes se fijan, al inicio la pregunta era, what do you do? Cuando te preguntan el what do you do, te están diciendo, eh, ¿qué haces? Entonces usted tiene que referirse, ¿qué es lo que usted hace? I'm a, I'm a teacher, I teach um, a subject, or I teach students. I'm a driver, um, soy un conductor, I drive cars, vehicles, trucks, in this one. I'm a doctor, I take care of patients, right? Entonces, vamos a formar pequeños equipos y usted va a compartir lo que usted hace. Your name and also your occupation. That's what we had to do. So, le voy a dar dos minutitos para que usted piense eh, acerca de, de su trabajo, cómo se dice en inglés y qué es lo que hace de una forma breve, en una oración. In one or two sentences, you think about that. You know, I'm a, I'm a painter. I paint houses. Or uh, I'm a dentist. I check the, the teeth of my patients, or I'm, a, I'm an engineer, so I work with some constructions or uh, different jobs that we have, right? Entonces, quiero que piense eh, la ocupación que usted tiene y la descripción de ese trabajo que usted tiene. That's what we have to do. Así que, mientras, les voy a dar los minutitos para que usted piense. Luego vamos a compartir en la plenaria acerca de los jobs, what you do, what job. So it's very valuable for you guys. Um, it's that clear? ¿Está claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect. That yes, was teacher. Amazing. I love that. All right. So, yes. okay, take a short time and then when I say let's go so we can start. Dice reportándome hasta este momento ingresé a Lai. Nos han mandado a pequeñas salas. Um, en este momento no, pero, ya casi. Oh, yes. pero a mí no me ha salido. Eh, no, todavía no les he abierto las salas. Yeah. Ahorita estoy esperando que ustedes completen ya qué es lo que hacen y la descripción de lo que hacen, ¿ok? So that's why we will take some time to do that. Teacher, ¿y si algunos somos estudiantes? Ah, pues, I, I am a student. I study high school or I study at university or I study in school, junior high. No. Describe qué hace. Okay. 
Thank you. All right. Entonces, una consulta, Tiche. Entonces sería, what do you do? O sea, se lo vamos a preguntar a la persona con la que estemos en la sala. Exactly. So, uh, what do you do? Y viceversa. Ajá, uh -huh. my name is William. I, I am a teacher and I, yeah. Ok. Thank you. Uh, what, what do, what's your name? My name is William. And what do you do? I'm a teacher. Um, I teach English to students of um, uh, high school and university. I teach English. So, you know, you describe what you do. Bien, vamos a armar los breakout rooms y pues con los que esté usted va a participar y va a compartir. Vamos a ver. Ok, participants for room. Entonces, lo que usted va a hacer es eso. Entra y pues pregunta, what do you do? Uh, my name is, because you have to say your name, socialize, I, I'm, a, I'm a lawyer, I, I, I work with the law, with people, I help people, etc. Let's go. What do you do? What do you like? Um, hay algunos que no están ingresando a los grupos, eh, no veo que ingrese Irma, no veo a Jocelyn, no veo a Eduardo, a Fátima, no veo que entren a los grupos. Sí, señor, a mí no me ha quedado ninguna notificación. Um, ¿Su nombre? Fátima. Ok, vamos a reenviarla a otro grupo entonces, Fátima. Ok. Teacher, no estoy en ningún en el grupo, solo me veo que estoy ahí. Estoy conectado con otro grupo. Uh -huh. Vamos a ver, Wilfredo, ¿qué pasa? Ok, le voy a mandar a otro grupo entonces. Hoy. Hoy. Ok. Ok, ¿quién más? Vamos a ver quién más. Um, no puedo entrar, me tira de regreso a esta reunión, teacher. ¿Será el internet? Pues no sé, no me ha porque fallado. Tendría Estoy que, ajá, porque tendría que entrar sin ningún problema. Vale, voy a mover a otro grupo entonces. Así que atenta si le sale ahí la invitación. Fátima, um, Eduardo, Jocelyn, Jacqueline. I am Ruth. Um, I am Acrylis. I really like what has to do with knives. Okay, perfect. 
What about you, Teresa? Hello. Um, because um, of my friends, I turn to Facebook. Right? What did you like? He asks. Ponemos un nombre y una ocupación ahí en ese cuadro. Ajá. Sí, por ejemplo, Ruth dijo que ella es acrilista. Eh, ahora vamos a permitir que Teresa. Teresa, can you introduce yourself, please? I am a nanny. I am care my a child to your soul. Okay. 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 And it can fit the fire. Okay. Um. In my case, I study biology because I want to learn more about the nature and the way to to can um, to can do a conservation in the good way. And I love plants and animals <laughs> too. Ah, okay, okay, perfect. Oh. In my case, my mother is a um, uh, wife, wife hope, I think. Yeah, and my, my is, father was because uh, he passed away. Um, uh, a football player. Accountants, I think that is the way to stay. I don't know. What about you, Ruth? What did your mother do? My mother knew. No vamos a lograr hacer nada. Solo es así, miren compañeros, no se, no se compliquen la vida. Vaya, ustedes van a preguntar, what's your name? Ustedes van a responder, eh, por ejemplo, hi, my name is Mireia. En, me vuelven a preguntar, en what, do you, what do you do? Entonces yo respondo, hmm. bájamela eso. Todavía estamos ahí. Así, así la dije yo. Así le dije yo que así, 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 yo un, así había hecho yo un ejemplo. ¿eh? Ejemplo. Ay, cuando le pregunten, what do you do? Solo es, por ejemplo, I am a nurse. Uh -huh. Yes, for example, uh, when, cuando, cuando el teacher le pregunta a uno, what do you do? My my answer is, uh, mi, mi respuesta es, I am a driver and I drive a, a truck and, and gotta, gotta take some things to, to another direction, something like that. <clears throat> Mm. Entonces se le tendría que decir what do you what do you do así ser, Blanca ejemplo así, se, así sería verdad teacher that's correct ah, el, yes verdad el, right, le sería el nombre el, el nombre de uno y la profesión verdad de uno o la ocupación Ex exactamente lo que les explicaba muy bien gracias gracias teacher thank you you're welcome y quién va a consultar, digamos, si hay que decirle el nombre, porque somos cuatro, hay que decir, 
what do you uh, Blanca what do you um, Saul hola eh, yo les puedo preguntar si gusta y usted Bate. me responde uno uno por uno ajá cabal Solo me dicen quién, quién, quién va a empezar. Ok. What, what's your name, miss? ¿Cuál es su nombre, señorita? ¿Cuál es, cuál es su nombre? Pero, Pero uh, ¿cuál de las dos? What's your name? <ríe> es que va... ¿Es conmigo o con Blanca? Es que es, vaya, vamos. My name is Doribel. What you... Yeah, but I need your name. I, I... Ok, ok, I got it, got it. What is your, what is your name? I, I, I start with you. Yo empiezo con usted. Yo empiezo ahorita con usted. Okay, students, well, let's continue. Um, most, most of your partners are coming back after the practice. So it will we'll take a time to uh, continue with the, with the activities that we had to develop. Look at that. All right, so congratulations. I could see that uh, most of you have been practicing in the groups and that's really great because you take a time to you know, practice. This is something that we had to prioritize the practice and also the communication with the language. Okay, we have an activity talking about jobs. I know that most of you have different jobs or occupations and activities that you develop every day. So for that reason, we will start today. Okay, look at the following exercise right now and um, look at it, what it says. Let me check here. Check. Goes, goes back, goes back. This one. That was what I was looking for. Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh, we need to start over. <laughs> yeah. This one. Sorry, sorry. Okay. Um, it says match the jobs with the pictures. And also we will practice. Look at the examples. We have here some statements. Um, we have a cashier as a letter A. We have a cook or chef. You can say cook or chef. No sé si alguien puede apagar el micrófono que tiene encendido por ahí, por favor. Tengamos cuidado de eso solo cuando vaya a participar lo enciende. Thank you. So look at the statements. Quiero que vea las siguientes eh, o las, eh, las siguientes palabras refer referentes a trabajo.
Okay, so we, we see here some occupations like a cashier, a cook or chef, a doctor, a flight attendant, a judge, a lawyer, musician, nurse, a pilot, police officer, receptionist, salesperson, security guard, singer, waiter, and waitress. Look at that. So what I want you to do is try to match the jobs with the pictures. There are some that are very visible. So you had to uh, select the letter that correspond to the picture. So for example, we have the, the number one in that case. So what I see in the number one, it's letter K in this case. It is a receptionist, what it says admitting area. So I would, I would give you some time to work in this. And after that, we will come back and we will socialize the answers, the picture with the jobs. Verifique ahí este... Vemos que ya nos dio la 1. La 1 es la letra K, eh, que es recepcionista. Entonces vayan viendo las demás y lo completan según eh, el nombre y el dibujo. Y recuerden que tienen que tener su cámara encendida en estas clases. Okay, uh, while well, you compare the answers here. So let's see, let's uh, check the next part. So you can help me with that. Um, what about the number two? Um, what do you think could be the number two? Nurse, H is the doctor, little C. C. H, nurse. And two. Because we have a nurse, one side. That will be the number three. We have number one, number two, and three. three. So the number two is? News. C. Doctor. Doctor. Number two is C. E is news. Ah, okay. Entonces, number e. two is C. All right. Because it's a doctor. E. Okay. So, e. well, I'm going to try to use this one. And the number three is, you say nurse, e. right? 
Age. 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 Number ah, three is okay. the age. age. Nurse. Okay, so, age. okay, that would be great. What about the number four? Uh, what do you see the number four? Letter mm. I. 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 I
and for each picture, people are doing some things. Who works in these places? Complete a chart with the jobs for an exercise A. Add one more job to each list. And, por ejemplo, in, an, in a hospital. ¿Quiénes trabajan en hospital? So you think about ¿Qué otros trabajos? So you, you will take Yeah, thank you. So you will take that time. And usted va a pensar que de estos lugares, ¿qué personas trabajan ahí? Tenemos también in an office. ¿Qué personas trabajan in an office? ¿Qué personas trabajan en una oficina? Y usted escribe las, las profesiones o los trabajos que ellos hacen ahí. La siguiente es in a store. ¿Quiénes trabajan en una store? ¿Quiénes trabajan en una tienda? Usted escribe una, unos tres trabajos o tres profesiones, ocupaciones de personas que trabajan en una tienda y in a hotel. ¿Qué trabajos podemos encontrar en un hotel? So you will think about it. Les voy a dar unos minutos para que hagan este ejercicio. And meanwhile, we will uh, take a time to work in some exercises about that. Vamos a pasar la asistencia también. Así que pues estén atentos y dicen, aquí estoy, presente. All right. Um, it's that clear what we had to do? ¿Está claro qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. Yes. Thank, yes, you. Thank you, guys. That's awesome. Yes, teacher. Let's continue working. Y procuren tener los micrófonos apagados. Ok. Ana Elizabeth García. Ana Elizabeth García. Um, Blanca Mirela Galdames Hernández. Present. Ok. Braulio Heriberto Velázquez. Present, teacher. Thanks. Eh, Denis Eliseo Gutiérrez. Denis Eliseo Gutiérrez. Uh, Doribel Arelí. Arriaza. Present, teacher. Thanks. Emanuel Portales Hernández. Emanuel Portales Hernández. No está. Evelyn Janet Cáceres de Bonilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Fátima Elisa Marroquín. Here teacher. Thank you. Um, Fátima Noemí Rivera. Present teacher. Thank you. Let's see who else we have in the list. Uh, Irma Suleima Grande. Present teacher. Thanks. Jacqueline Elizabeth Guevara Centeno. Present teacher. Uh, Jacqueline Rebecca Cermeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jonathan Eduardo Elias Granadeño. Present teacher. Thank you. Jose Aristides Moreno. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, acuérdense los micrófonos. Uh, José Enrique Orellana. Present. Thanks. Jocelyn Noemi Romero. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Carla Abigail Aguilar. Present teacher. Thanks. Lorena Sarayi Mansa. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Luis Miguel Mejía. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Marcela Alejandra Lozell. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Mirna Janet Landos. Present teacher. Uh, Pedro Isaac Lopez. Present. Um, Rebecca Michelle Gomez. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Um, Ruth Noemi Guevara. Present teacher. Okay. Saul Alexander uh, Lozano. Present teacher. Thank you. Teresa de Jesus Ponce. Hernandez. Present. Thank you. Wendy Lisette uh, Cardillas de Cedillo. 
Present teacher. Thank you. And Wilfredo Serna Amaya. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Sarina Yajaira. No, she's not there. So, so we don't have here with us um, Emmanuel Portales, Denise Eliseo, and Anna Elizabeth. So we don't have them here. Teacher Emmanuel no ha salido de trabajar todavía. Thank you. Okay, let's continue with the activity. So we're taking a short time to share here some examples. Okay. Okay, let's do something here. Um, we use the chat to uh, to uh, to search some possible jobs here. Vamos a ver. Quiero que en el chat me ayuden a escribir acá um, cuáles son los trabajos que podemos encontrar en un hospital. So this is the first one. So what what jobs can we find in, in a in a hospital? A secretary. Okay, thank you. A nurse. A nurse. Doctor. A nice Jacqueline Blanca. Or or in hospital paramedic. Okay, psychologies, two. um, psychiatric chance. Okay, right in the chat, psychologies, uh, pharmaceutic, paramedic, too. Thank you, Fatima Braulio. Okay, great, thank you. Oh, surgeon. Oh, that's great. And this theologist, too. Mm -hmm. Okay, paramedic, too. Excellent, that's great. Okay. Well, there are great jobs in a hospital. Okay. Okay. A surgeon, okay, a surgeon too. Yeah. That's uh, that's important. These kind of jobs is very necessary. Okay, look at the number two in an office. What kind of jobs can we find in an office? Secretary, secretary, an accountant, a receptionist, a businessman. Nice, Rolio. Nice, Wendy too. Owner, be business. A business, a, a business owner, okay. An engineer too in an office, okay, cool. Business owner. A business owner, okay. What else? What else can we find? Um, it's it's like a janitor, a lawyer too. Um, the cleaning, uh, could be a maid. Uh, hmm. Let's see. Thank you. We find great jobs definitely there. Cool. Okay, what check in the chat what kind of jobs accountant assistants, all right? So accountant assistants is a great job in cashers. Cashier too. All right, let's go with the next one. Cambiamos de categoría. Y ahora nos vamos a ir en una story. What kind of jobs can we find in a story? Cashier, a salesperson, Nice Jacqueline and Fatima too. Um, a sales person too. That is a great job too. What else we have? A, a security guard too. Yeah, in the store, it's security guard is important. A manager in a store. Yeah, it's great. This place person. Mm, what else? This place person. Oh. Okay, that's okay. A seller too, a seller, a supervisor in a store, yeah, siempre, oh, famoso manager. May I speak with the manager, please? Again. 
Excelente ahí, a seller. Nice, Jacqueline, too. Y vamos con la siguiente, vamos con la última categoría. Y esta categoría es in a hotel. Recuerden que la pronunciación es hotel. It's a doorman, a security guard, receptionist, a waiter. Nice, it's a house, housekeeping. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see here. A receptionist, a waitress, okay? We can find a waiter and a waitress in a, in a hotel. A chef, too. Oh, yeah, a chef is a, a very important job in a hotel. A hostery. Okay, great. Nice, Luis. Luis Miguel. Okay, so... Um, Still waters. So there are different jobs that are very important. And also, if we study the characteristics of our single jobs, we will learn a lot about that. Vamos a aprender muchísimo de esto. Así que, bien, felicidades. Buen trabajo ahí. Hemos podido eh, conocer un poquito más acerca de trabajos y con la característica de cada uno de estos. Entonces, es importante. Y así aprende este más vocabulario. Bien, vamos con el siguiente ejercicio. Eh, por las cuestiones de tiempo, que el tiempo se va volando. The time is actually going so fast. Entonces, nos vamos a ir a la siguiente actividad, que es una conversation. So, he works in a hotel. Para esto, vamos a practicar en pequeñas, en pequeñas parejas, eh, un poquito acerca de la pronunciación, ya que hemos estudiado vocabulario, pero también es importante estudiar la pronunciación. Cómo se pronuncian las palabras es muy importante. So, the, the tema es, el tema es, he works in a hotel. He works in a hotel. The conversation is between Marcia, Rachel and Angela and uh, Rachel. Marcia. Okay. Quiero que pongan mucha atención y luego pues ustedes eh, practican esta conversation. Así que igual lo voy a tener acá. Where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother works in a hotel too. He is... A front desk agent. How does he like it? No, very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for it? The plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, that's interesting. Um, what does he do? Actually, he is the manager. Bien, ustedes pueden encontrar en el chat esta, esta conversation, por si se duda cómo se pronunciaba, la puede volver a escuchar en, en el grupo. Entra al grupo, pues y ya les compartí ahí la pronunciación de esta. Entonces, eh, es una conversación muy importante acerca de Rachel, Angela, you know. So, let's see what happened with this. Ok, vamos a ver. Dice... Where does your brother work? Where does your brother work? ¿A dónde trabaja tu hermano? Y entonces dice, in a hotel. En un hotel. Oh, really? ¿En serio? My brother works in a hotel too. Mi hermano trabaja en un hotel también. He is a front desk agent. Él es un, eh, él es un agente. Um, front desk para nosotros es el que está digamos atendiendo a las personas que llegan al hotel that is the meaning about front desk look at the context eh, por decirlo así the front desk es como el que está en el mostrador la persona que está encargada de recibir a los invitados a los huéspedes que en este caso es un front desk es un Como mostrador. Recepcionista, sí, es un, un recepcionista, pero no le llaman tanto recepcionista, le llaman mostrador. Eh, ya que ellos se encargan de, de, de atender a las personas y pues ofrecerles la habitación. Entonces dice, um, How does he like it? ¿Y, ¿Y le gusta? How does he like it? Es como que, ¿y le gusta? Not very much, no mucho. He doesn't like the manager. A él no le gusta 
el gerente, en este caso, que es manager para nosotros. Entonces, no gusta el gerente. No le convence, quizás. That's too bad. Eso está mal. What hotel does he work for? ¿Para qué hotel trabaja? The plaza. Oh, that's funny. Hey, está, es divertido. My brother works there too. Mi hermano trabaja ahí también. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, es interesante. How does he work actually? Y le dice, ¿y, y de qué trabaja él? ¿O qué hace? What does he do? En realidad, él es el manager. Imagínense cómo, cómo en la vida que justamente el hermano era el manager. Así que, look how it is, right? Bien, uh, vamos a formar los breaker rooms. Tenemos unos minutitos para, para compartir ahí este, la práctica. Usted se va a unir a los, a los grupos y pues vamos a practicar esta conversation. So, vamos a agregar más salas a los a los rooms. Vamos a ver, nueve y diez. Excelente. Bien, así que estén atentos a entrar a los breaker rooms para practicar. Ok. Mm. Eh, si quiere, comienzo yo o no sé qué. Ok. Ok. Uh, ok, usted es Rachel y yo puedo ser Ángela si quiere. Está bien, está bien entonces, para comenzar y de ahí los otros dos compañeros. Ok. okay. Uh, where does your brother work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother work in a hotel too. He's a front desk agent. How do how does he like it? Not very much. He does not like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does, does he work for? The plaza. That's, that's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thank. Interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Ahora los otros dos compañeros ahí. Sí. Okay. Ah, solo un compañero más ahí. Eh, si quiere, este, eh, comience usted con el compañero y yo voy a volver este, a hacerlo con, con él, este, con otra persona. Hola, no okay. me contesto. ¿Con okay. quién más? Hola, hola. ¿Hola? Sí, falta un compañero. Uh -huh. Sí, pero si quiere usted, yo voy a, ahora yo voy a ser Rachel y usted si quiere es Ángela. Ok. Ok. Where does your brother work in a hotel oh really my brother works 
in a hotel too. He's a phone desk agent. How oh, does he like you? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That's too bad. What hotel does he work for? The plaza. That's funny. My brother was here too. Oh, that's interesting. What does he do? Actually, he's the manager. Okay. Eh, ahora, ahora yo voy a ser, voy a ser Ángela y... Ajá, uh -huh. porque Ángela no sido yo. Sí. Okay. ¿Quién va a ser la de Ah, yo seré Rachel. Ajá, y la otra compañera. Yo seré Rachel. Sí, está bien. Okay. Okay. Where do your brothers work? In a hotel. Oh, really? My brother work is a hotel too. He is a front desk agent. How does he like it? No, very much. He doesn't like you to manage it. That to what? What hotel does he? How does he like it? Not very much. He doesn't like the manager. That too bad. What hotel does he work for? Uh, the plaza. That's funny. My brother works there too. Oh, thanks. Interesting. What does he do? Actually, uh, he's manager. Ah, yo te dice interesante. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Tengo esa duda. Interesante. Ajá. Es interesting. Interesting. Ajá, okay. así como, como, como que la lengua es, es, no sé, como un poco trabada, pero así es. Interesting. 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 Okay. Sí, interesting. Gracias. Bueno. Quiero ver. Malcotra, que nos cueste pronunciar. Esa de actuali. Bueno, esa de actuali, así, ¿verdad? Eh, actuali. Yo creo que así es, actuali. Okay, students. Well, um, we comes back after the practice. You know, the time was very short, but we took advantage about the time and also with the practice and vocabulary too. So let's see if all the best we're here. Some other students are joining, you know, the, the main session. And tomorrow we will continue talking about jobs and occupations and also a grammar structure. That because of the time we couldn't finish. Bien. Um, don't forget to practice the vocabulary and information about jobs. Les voy a compartir eh, posterior un enlace de, de práctica acerca de ocupaciones. Para que usted las tenga ahí, pues pueda practicar. Se les voy a compartir al final de la clase. Bien, eh, agradecerles el tiempo y. El día de mañana pues hablaremos un poquito acerca de, del uso del presente simple con preguntas. Ya hemos visto este tema en, el, en la semana anterior. 
volvemos a retomarla, solo que hoy le vamos a agregar las WH questions, que son como las palabras clave para formar preguntas. Por ejemplo, dónde, qué, cómo, cuándo, eh, cómo. Entonces usamos el, esto. Por ejemplo, yo quiero decir que dónde trabajas. Y yo digo, hey, where do you work? ¿Qué haces? What do you do? Eh, ¿Te gusta? How do you like it? Eh, what does he do? ¿Qué es lo que hace él? Entonces, estas W equations vamos a utilizar en, en, en preguntas. Es algo muy sencillo que pues ya ustedes lo comparten, pero como les digo, en todas estas clases siempre se hace una retroalimentación de temas que ya vimos y lo, lo volvemos a ver en el siguiente tema y lo volveremos a ver en otro tema para poder reforzar más. Ok, so thank you so much guys and have a beautiful uh, night to all of you. Take care and enjoy your night, okay? Goodbye to everybody. Thank you so much. Have a All good time. You, Have a good time, guys. Enjoy your night. Yes.